Hey, hello! Welcome on the R programming panel from Dynamic Data Stream. Today, we will talk about the arrange function from DeepIR. You can use the arrange function to reorder your rows in your data frame. We have to load the iris dataset into the df variable and to load the package dplyr with the function library. Just like the other dplyr function, we have to give it a data frame first. As you can see, the column sepal length in our data frame are not ordered. So you can see the first row has 5.1, 4.9, 4.7, and etc. And so we'll use the arrange function to reorder that. So you can see that the sepal length start with 4.3 and then it goes up and up and up and up. And so what if we wanted a descending order? Well, we just have to use a kind of a helper function they call in dplyr. And we surround our column by the helper function. And right away, it went from the highest to the lowest. You can give several columns to the arrange function. So you could give the sepal width. When you give several columns to the arrange function, it will first order by the first column. And then if there are any equality or equal values, it will order it by the second argument and on and on if you give it more arguments. So in this case, I reordered the data frame by first asking it for a descending order on sepal length and then augmenting order or normal ordering on sepal width. And so you can see that first the sepal length was 7.9 and the associated value to that for sepal width was 3.8. But then there are several 7.7 .7 in sepal length and so we can see here that the sepal width is going up. <laughs> if we don't have fun, we don't have fun, you know? <laughs> As opposed to other dplyr function, the arrange function will ignore the grouping except if you explicitly tell it to use it. So let's run an example here. Um, so we will do the arrange function, we will group by species, and then we will ask it for the same type of uh, arrangement, the same type of uh, sorting, but here we will say by group and say for true, like this. As you can see here, it first uh, ordered all our groups, so Setosa, Versicolor, uh, Virginicana, and then it applied the uh, sorting that we asked for. So it's descending order for 5.8, and then it's going up uh, when the values are equal, and then it's going up through sepal width, uh, on and on. And then when we, you get to the new grouping, it starts over again. If we had not given uh, the by group argument, it would have ignored our grouping that we are applying to the data frame. That's it for the arrange function. Thanks for watching. See you next time.